We are live from Spiro Clinic for our second graduation of the day. This is Katie, and Katie has had CRPS for eight years, eight years. Uh, Katie is very near and dear to my heart. We've had so much fun with her in the clinic, and I'm going to miss you a lot. Um, we're very much alike in our personalities. We had to keep each other straight and remind each other things, um, but we've had a lot of fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you, but I'm glad you're going on to this next leg of your journey. So why don't you go ahead? Okay. I'm like Sunny, I need notes. I'm not as good as her. Um, but, and, and I'm a little shaky and I don't like talking and I'm a little faintish, so we'll just see how this goes. But I just want to start with a song. We're going to sing. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it though. I had to do it. Okay. Um, I want to start with addressing the elephant in the room and that's that the pain in my feet is not any better, but I have had so many wins. And I came to the clinic knowing that, feeling that God is my ultimate healer, and I go home still feeling that way. We've done all the things here. Sparrow's been wonderful, and now it's time for God to do the rest. Um, I, uh, sorry. <laughs> I do believe that his timing is not my timing, and I'm okay with that. I'm at complete peace at going home. Um, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity to come here. God had to pave a way financially, emotionally, spiritually, and it's been amazing. Um, I want to thank the staff, because Sarah, not that I should do any call outs, but um, <laughs> for um, just being so kind and respectful and compassionate. And Dr. T and Dr. Lauren and uh, Dr. BLT, let's just do that. Dr. <laughs> BLT, just researching and you know, researching my condition. My body is complicated. I came with what seemed like a, a pretty straightforward case and there were so many viruses and stuff. It just was complicated and, and that's okay. We've done all the things. I feel really good about, we've done 100% of what we could do. And like I said, now it's up to God. Um, let's see, okay, I do wanna say some of the wins. Um, thank you to everybody. Look, I've thrown out the, sh the rubber shoes that were so <laughs> ugly. I'm now in tennis shoes. Um, I'm walking so much sturdier. I'm no longer furniture surfing. You know, um, I'm no longer fearful of falling down as I'm walking. When I came, my face was starting to droop and I was starting to drool a little bit and I had sharp pains in my face. That's gone. Um, my hands were numb a lot of the time. That's all gone. Um, I have just had so many wins, you guys, and I can go home confident that I can hold my um, grandbaby that's gonna be born December 1st. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see, what did I forget? Okay, I want to thank Bailey. Where's Bailey? Is she hiding? There's my <laughs> Bailey. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I couldn't have done this without Bailey. I would go in there sometimes and cry. Sometimes not over NMR. I would just cry. <laughs> and she let me cry for a minute and then she'd gently get me to 100 and help me move on. Um, yeah, I wouldn't be this strong without her encouragement. I couldn't have done it without her. Um, kudos to Dr. K and to God for um, orchestrating who my NMR therapist was. She was perfect for me. My brain is very bouncy. I'm using Autumn's term. And she would have to tell me every single day, over and over, how to, how to move my body, what to do right, what not to do right, or what, you know, what not to do wrong, whatever. And, um, she was patient. She never lost her patience. She never got frustrated with me. And so, and sometimes when I come in and we just barely close the door and I'd already be crying. She was okay. It's like, it's, you're all right. You're all right, kid. Come on, let's move on. She was amazing. I do want to say thank you to Tori and Bryce for stopping in and encouraging me. Um, Tori would stop me in the hallways. Come on, you got this. Um, all that encouragement for the whole staff has been amazing. I, it is a dream team. It really is. You guys call it a dream team and it really is a dream team. Um, and lastly, I want to thank the Lord because without him, I wouldn't be here. He was my comfort, my peace, my everything. Um, one thing that was huge for me was doing a gratitude journal. Okay. I used that to thank the Lord for every little thing. The sun set out my window, uh, Bailey giving me a hug because Sarah encouraging me just so much. Dr. T researching how she could help me more. There were just so many things to be thankful for. And, um, Without that gratitude, I could have got lost down the dark hole. And I just, just want to say thank you.